Okay, welcome back everybody to Coffee and... Whoa, I need a refill now in the afternoon. And so we've done a couple other segments this morning, some art journal flips and some color book pages. And now real quick, well, real quick, and then another, you know, hour or so, I want to uh, do something in our day book faux ledger that my sister gave me in 2009 that I never used, but now it is a napkin journal. And I do need to go over there. I, I probably won't do any napkin gluing today because I have a bunch of pages already uh, has napkins glued in it. And so I won't go through that process. But if you want to look in my playlist on the YouTube recordings, there you'll see lots of napkin journal, uh, napkin journal in the mixed media category. And so we'll just kind of do a flip through so far what I've got done in here. And uh, so you can see where we've got napkins glued down. And then here's one of the pages where we have used the Big Monster Girls from Juliet Crane. And I love this book for the cutting out purposes. They just work well in an art journal or in, in this case the napkin journal. So I've been using cutting these girls out. I've kind of done a quick color based on wherever I pick to put them. Like she's purple, we did, you know, whatever I kind of coordinate with the napkins. Same thing for the bird. We did kind of a, their clothing is kind of the same. And uh, he's out of a, um, he's out of the uh, nature journal, I think it was, or nature color book rather. So I'll use different things out of different, um, color books to put in the napkin journal, but the basis of all these pages is a napkin. I was talking about Pixie and it's figure for people in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you just put in, we're talking, somebody's asking in chat before I hit record, we're talking about drawing uh, people, references where you can get them online. You can just, all you have to do is put in art poses to draw. And like that and now be prepared you'll probably get some naked people if you don't want to draw naked people put in there I don't want to draw naked people or something like that anyway <laughs> we're talking about drawing and um, drawing sketches and portraits before I hit record okay so every page in here though I want to have a napkin as a background so like this has got a bunch of fish probably put a mermaid on I've been using different books like um, fantasy fairies and different color books and I'm kind of trying to keep this a, a fairy fantasy fairy mermaid you know these kind of, you know just kind of that kind of girls in this in this book with a napkin background theme all right so you can see they've all got napkins in some form or another on all the pages I'm just going to do a quick flip and then this even came with a bookmark in it and uh, so yeah not every page. I've, I've pretty much gone, there's a few pages left that have no napkin on them, but pretty much all but a few pages have a napkin glued on them in some form. So we just, we put some color book pages on them and then we paint in a scenery. Here's a couple pages here in the middle that don't have anything. Hi, Bonnie. You're welcome. Love you. So you can see we have different napkins, florals, fauna, birds, on all the different. There's a couple here with no nothing on them. And then we did this one a couple, maybe two weeks ago. The little uh, elf. We, we colored the little elf. This is a napkin here. The sunflowers are a napkin. And then we we paint, uh, we colored in, glued them in, and then painted. All this is painted in. So the, that's all painted in. Then we stickle, we put stickles, glitter on the sunflowers, and around his little flower, it's like a little lantern. What do I have on July? Oh, I, as far as the dates in this, I'm this, I cover up the dates. This is not a date book. <laughs> That's why I never used it. My sister gave it to me in 2009. I never used it because it's got dates. 
So the dates all get covered up. I'm not even doing anything with the dates. <clears throat> it's like a weekly. It's like a weekly thing. You know, they got a week on a page. And then we did this page, which has a, uh, like a fairy and a bird. And so we colored the bird, and this one has stickles on it too, as does she. And then this was a um, color book page that we just did a wash on. Okay, and the rest here is napkin, and then that's out of the color book. So the flowers are out of one color book. They're out of another color book, and then the background is napkins and paint. And I think that's all we have done in here. So, yeah. So what I want to do, and I don't know what page it'll be yet, or what girl, but I'm going to pick a girl, and then I'll color coordinate her. I'll color coordinate her with a, a page in here. And maybe, let's get the nature book. It's maybe a bird or something. I don't know what else to put on it yet. I haven't, this is not planned, guys. This is not planned. Let's see. Let me find that nature book. Yeah, this is another, this is one of the ones that I cut out of. Glorious Gardens, and there's another one, Birds. This one's got more I don't, You know, I don't really want flowers because I've got enough flowers with the napkins. Hang on. Let me look, guys. See if I can find the bird one or... I'm trying to find where I put it. I thought it was off the shelf, but it may be on the shelf. Hang on, let me dig a minute. It's a certain, oh, it's a certain, uh, the nature book. We're always cutting it up. Now I can't find it. Uh, hang on. It has good birds in it. Hmm. I don't know what I did with it. Maybe it is over here in the stack where I'm using the fairies. Hmm. Let me look. No, I don't know what I did with it. Well. I wanted to put a bird on it. Might just have to find a bird. Well, I'm trying to use just color book pages. Where did I put the bird book? Let me look again. Hang on, guys. There's some animals. Let's see. All right, just a minute. We'll find something. We'll find something. <clears throat> One moment. animals. Yeah. I'm still here. I'm digging. Wow. I can't find the two books I'm looking for. Well, you may not put an animal on it. I can't find my two animal books. There's a steampunk. There's a kimono. Alright, here, we'll go with this one. Some butterflies. 
Yowza, I can't find the bird book or the nature book. Okay, we'll go with this one. We did some other things with this one. Where I, I told you the reason I bought this book was for the illustrations that were already colored. But I'll, I'm going to pick out a couple uh, butterflies or moths. And we will um, incorporate those in our page. So let's see, maybe a big one here. This one. Now, uh, when this is not a double-sided book, so when I cut this out, it does tear this out. But I bought this to tear up and use, so we'll go with these two. I don't know what kind of moths they are. I'll color them whatever color they match. Okay, so we're going to go with this. <laughs> And we're going to go with, I'm just going to pick a girl out of here that I, I want to go with the butterflies. Maybe we'll use the wings on one of the girls and then a butterfly on the opposite page. So I don't know yet. We'll see. I like her. I like her. I like all of them. I love this. It's Julia Crane, Big Monster. I love using these and cutting them up and coloring them. And they all have tree branches in their heads. She looks kind of sad, this one. Do we need to cheer her up with some wings? Just flipping. One of them will speak to me. <laughs> she's cute too. I love them all. Oh my gosh, she's so sweet. It's got a little house. Y'all still with me? That one would work well with wings. Okay, I'm going with this one so far. Oh, and I like her too. We're going with her. All right. So again, you want to color them before you put them in a book because, especially a napkin journal, they're rough. If you try to put, glue her in first, cut her out and glue her in, it's, it's rough, right? You'll be picking up texture. So it's best to color before you glue them in. Now I gotta find my page I want to use. This one's got butterflies flying all around. Maybe that will work. I gotta kind of consider where it's gonna go. That might be pretty. That might work. Okay, we're gonna go with this. We'll just roll with this one with the hydrangeas because the butterflies are you know already the theme for us. We already got a theme going on. Terry and you have the same birthdays. Oh that's cool. Okay, so my hand, let me, I think I need to brighten it up just a little. I know um, to get the, get the uh, colors right, I have to make my skin look darker because that's the true color except for my hands. And it's just the, it's just the way it is with the lighting, guys. So we're going to just kind of move this right over here. These are going to be the colors we're going to go with. Let's start with the girl. And again, my table's crunchy, so I want to work on top of something because I want her to be smooth. And I got the butterflies here, we're gonna coordinate. I think I'm gonna do her in the purples, and I'll do the butterflies in the, in the yellows and the ochres, okay? And then she's gonna have wings. So two of these butterflies, I'm gonna to have to decide, let me cut it in half real quick. Two of these wings are gonna be for her, and then two, of, and then the, uh, one butterfly will just be flying. So let's see which wings do I want. I think I want the larger wings on her. Now I am working on a narrow page. So if I put her like right here, it is going to have to go over the page. I don't really like to have things in the crevice of a book because it just doesn't last. Okay. Uh, so sometimes, you know, you got to work with that. If you put her on, like I'd at least like not have her face in the crevice. The rest of it's okay. But um, if you put something in the crevice, it will, um, you know, it can start to wear. It'll start to wear. Okay, Pam, thank you for being here all this time. Wow. Thank you for being here all this time. All right, so she's going to be colored in the purples, like the flowers. And then these wings will be hers. Where's my... So I'm just, I'm not even going to worry about coloring the middle of the bug or, you know, the butterfly. But I'm going to cut, cut her, you know, some of these wings. I don't know if I'll use all of it, but I'm going to end up cutting it in half and put this on this half and that on the other half, right? But I'm going to color them first before I do any more cutting. 
okay? And then this one will color in the yellow ochre. So what we're going to do is we're going to use just acrylic paint. Just going to use acrylic paint washes. Let me move the glue. Let me move my iPad so we're not splashing paint on it. And now, uh, oh, and by the way, I did buy some more. <laughs> not that I really needed it yet, but the paint was on sale at Hobby Lobby. It was 30% off, so I bought like 10 more jars. I bought 10 more jars that were on sale. I mean, they're only like $1.29, $39 as it is. So I think I got them for like $0.99. Cents. Okay, so I want, I'm not probably going to do anything green right now. I'm just going to go with the yellow ochre. So let's start with like a couple of shades of, I'm going to just go with antique. It's like, it's called antique gold, but it's like a yellow ochre. I'm just kind of picking with whatever looks like it might go. So I'll put some of that, and then I want a little bit of more of a brighter. You know what, I'll just add a little bit of white. Where's my white? Because it's just going to be one little butterfly, then we're going to, we'll use, uh, we'll use some colored pencil to shade. So hang in there with me, guys. We'll get her done. We'll get her done. Okay, and then she is going to be in these purpley, bluey purple. I'm not sure if I want Prussian blue and purple. Let's see. It's a, it's kind of a bluey purple. So Prussian, I might go with Prussian blue and dioxazine. No, not, it's too purple. Let's just test this out. I'm thinking that the um, Prussian blue will be purpley enough. We'll try it anyway. I gotta get a, I gotta get a baby one here. Keep my hands semi clean. So yeah, get some ideas, guys. All right. So now let me get a couple of paint brushes here. I'm just gonna do some washes. Okay, so let's go ahead and start here with the yellowy one. And I'm just going to do a wash of, I'm just going to do a wash of the yellow ochre. I'm just going to do the whole thing. And all this leftover paint is why you need a um, desk journal. So, you know, I started a new desk journal that uh, Kelly sent me. I didn't do a flip of the, uh, of the desk journal. I'll have to do a separate one on that sometime. Although I'm, most of y'all here have seen my desk journals. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do right there for now. Just that, okay? I'll add brown and color pencil and other things. after. But always make sure that it's dry before you start adding color pencil, okay? But I'm just going to set it aside for a minute. All right, now I'm going to come over here to her. Let's do her first. So I'm just going to do a little bit of Prussian blue. Let little, 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 little. Let's just do a test. Yeah, that's going to work out good. Okay, so I'm just going to do a wash. And again, it's kind of a gray scale already, right? Because it's got a gray, you know, shadows in it. Okay. And then I think I'll go ahead and do her with yellow ochre hair and just a wash. This is a very quick, this is not a lot of, this is not a lot of work here. I think I'll put a little glow around her like that because I'm going to keep those branches. I might even keep her house here. Let's just go ahead and just put a yellow ochre over the house in case. And maybe we might want to keep the, let's go ahead and we might or might not want to use that moon. We'll see. I'm just going to color it in in case. All right, and notice I'm going, not worried about going out of lines because I'm cutting them out, right? I'm cutting these out so it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter, okay? There we go. That's all I'm going to color on her. Now let's go to the wings. Okay, and I'm going to get a nice watered down, watered down blue, coloring the whole thing. This is the underpainting, if you will. Okay, that's it. Okay. Now this is where the paint that if we don't use it on the on here would needs to go. Although it dries up pretty quick here because under all the lights I'm using, so there probably will be dried out by the time I'm done. But if you're at home and you have all this extra paint, scrape it off or pick it up with a brush or even your finger and put it in your desk journal. All right, so I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to get the heat gun and dry all these elements real quick.
Welcome back, Patty. And you know, dry in the back too helps it to dry quicker. If it feels cold to the touch after you're done and it's sitting aside, it still feels cold, it's probably not dry. also need just a little bit of let's do a little bit of what color do I want her to be peach do I want her to have a kind of a darker color skin I like all different colors of skin it just makes it more interesting when you don't just do your color of person <laughs> you know what I mean burn let's get a uh, burn number no matter what color you are <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a little bit of burnt umber, just a tiniest bit of wash. Okay, and we're going to do... All right, let me dry that. All right, so now before I cut them out and glue them, I'm going to do some shading with color pencil, right? All right, let me move this over here. Let me move this off of here. Move the iPad to the left, color book to the right. All right, so let's get some color pencils. All righty. Bye, Carol. Thanks, everybody that pops in and out. We all do it. All right, so now I will get a... Couple shades of skin, get a peach. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna do like a whole lot of work on these. You can spend as much time as you want coloring them and all, but I'm kind of hurrying a little bit so I can get this segment done. So we have a little bit of a project we've done today. I want black cherry, I want a terracotta and an umber. Okay, that'll work. All right, so in a way, we got a little bit of highlight. All right, so where's my pencil sharpeners? Well, any questions? Yes, those are hair in her branches in her hair. We're going to incorporate those into the piece. Yes, yes, we are. Just quickly sharpening up a couple pencils here. And we're going to add a little bit of color to her. Not going to take too long, guys. I'm just going to add a little bit of just a little bit, just so you can, you know, see the pro the idea of the project, right? You can take as much time as you want to color and blend and shade and whatever. I'm just kind of going to do a little bit of skin. Blending it out. And the paper in this color book is a little different. It's a little... Um, I don't want to say waxy, but it has a little bit different feel to it. If y'all, any of y'all have this book, it feels a little different than plain paper. But I just, I love the girls in this book, so I use it, you know, a lot in our napkin journal. Let's kind of blend her in a little bit. Keep her kind of stylized. All right, that's going to be good enough. I'm just going to go with that. What's your favorite sharpener? Um, well, right now I have three. I have three favorite sharpeners. I like the just the your standard metal 
silver metal one. I forget who makes it. It's everywhere. I like the bullet one. And I like the um, the wood cutter. It's I think it's by Coom. The wood cutter by Coom because it has two sizes. Those three. <clears throat> but trust me, I've got them all. <laughs> okay, I want just a little bit more blending on here. just a little pink in her cheek. She looks a little pale. Let's just put a little color. And a little more blend. Now I'm kind of hurrying, but I want to get her done. I want to get this page done, you know, within an hour. So... <clears throat> Just want a little bit of, you know, and her girls are very stylized. I want to, you know, I don't want to lose that whimsy of the her girls. So I'm trying to not go, I'm trying to kind of keep it very kind of simple. All right, so now let's go on to the, her dress. Let me get a couple of shades of blue here. Let's see, let's go with uh, the slate blue and a ultramarine. I don't know if I have an ultramarine in here, so I never really use it dark blue very often. Yes, let me get another. Oh, well, let's just go with gray. Okay, I'm going to go with the cool gray and slate blue. We'll go with these two colors. So I just want a little bit of shadow. A little bit of the slate blue. Oh, I gotta turn my ch hang on. My fan is not blowing on me. It's hot. So I gotta turn tilt my chair so the fan's at least blowing on my back. There we go. So any questions? I'm sure I've missed some guys while I'm kind of trying to hurry through this. Do not hurry through this, guys, when you're doing a process like this or a project. Because you, you don't need to stress. You don't need to stress when you're doing it. I go a little fast because I'm trying to get it all on a stream. You know, but y'all take your time and enjoy the process. Right? Enjoy. Enjoy. Okay, that's all I'm going to do on her. Where's my butterfly? Do the same thing. I'm going to cut the wing. I'm going to cut the wings off, so... All right, so let's just go ahead and do a little bit of shading on the butterfly here. I'm going to keep it very whimsy-like. There's a little bit of shadow in the wing there, a little bit here, maybe a little bit under there. Again, take your time as much as you want. So I'm just using that kind of as a shadow, the gray. Let's put a little bit of that. No questions, we're good. I'm trying to keep it kind of loose and 
kind of that, you know, watercolory kind of look to it. But you can take as much time as you want. We'll add a little white. Lighten it up just a little. Since you've been saying enjoy the process, not just the ending, it's really helped me. Good, Vicki. Yeah. And, you know, again, guys, I know I some things we take our time and do multiple parts, like we're doing the uh, Bennett Klein Deer Girl. But, you know, it, it takes multiple parts to do that, and I just don't speed up anything because I want you to be able to see how long it actually takes to do this stuff, right? But don't just because I'm going fast doesn't mean you have to. You can you don't have to hurry. Alright, and we might add a little touch of something, but you want to try to get as much coloring as you've done as you can before you cut it out and glue it on a napkin journal. Again, it's because a napkin journal or any kind of mixed media is bumpy, you, you don't want to try to color on that. Because let me show you, let me do the, if I was trying to color on this, watch, I don't know if you can see, look, see how that does? See the lines coming through? See all that crunchy stuff coming through? I right, need a little tiny bit more real blue in there. Just a touch. That's too turquoise. Oh, here we go. True blue like. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I just want a little touch. That even that even is too good. I'm gonna move my back to my What is that baby? I don't know where I did with it. All right, we won't go with that then, because I can't find it. Hmm. All right, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to paint a little bit more. I'm going to pick up just a little bit more paint, because I want a little bit more blue on here, but I can't find my ultramarine blue pencil. So I'm just going to go in here with a little bit more paint, because I want a little bit more shadow under here. kind of water it out a little. There we go. So I'm getting ready to cut these out, right? All right, that's good. We'll see what happens. Let me dry it. So let's do this one real quick now. I just want a little bit of sienna. Okay, so I want a little bit of sienna on the wings here. And again, this is one of those things you take your time. A little sienna and a little brown.
No questions? Okay. I guess there's not really anything to comment on here. Okay, I'm going to dark brown. Oh, I need dark brown. Kind of going over the black lines of the color book just to kind of get that dark brown. Again, it doesn't matter if you go out of lines because you're cutting it out. Okay, so let's just go around the whole thing here over all the lines. And the antennas, I never worry about cutting out the antennas. I just paint those in. Okay, now a little bit of yellow ochre. Keeping it very kind of loose. That's enough. Okay, let's go ahead and find the scissors. Graphic put out a nice butterfly pack last week. Oh yeah, Graphics Fairy does a lot of uh, free things too. I used used to. I don't know. I haven't kept up with them. But links are open. Feel free. And again, I'm not going to worry about cutting out the antenna because I'll just paint that in. I can add more color, but you know, it is hard to color once you've glued it on a napkin journal, just saying. But I'm also rushing, <laughs> so we'll see. I might paint some on it. We'll see how it looks when we get done. because I want to get this project done for you guys even though you don't have to hurry All right. okay now I'm going to cut this butterfly in half because this is going to be her wings
cut out her. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave this glow around her. Okay. We'll see how much, I'm not sure how much of this will cut off or paint out. Okay, there went the mail again, guys. Hang on, I'm still cutting while the mail is coming in and freezing us for a minute. There's a little sun. I'm going to cut up a little house. I know I'm frozen, guys. Just, just give it a second. Come on, unfreeze. Come on. I'm waiting, guys. It's still hung up. I don't know why. It usually doesn't take 15 seconds to unstick. But it is this time. There it goes. Alrighty. So I cut out the little moon or the sun. The little house. Wings. And we're working on cutting out her. of those little fringe things hanging there. Of course, you could always just draw those in, too. I might draw more fringe. All right, so there we go. I'm a little bit closer to her neck there. Grab it from the back. There you go. All right, now let's um, audition it, shall we? Let's see how we want it to look. Okay, I know that I don't want that butterfly covered up, so she's going to be right in here. We're going to have to cut, trim down her branches. <laughs> I don't want to cover up. We'll paint this out, but I don't want to cover up that butterfly. So we're going to go with this. We're covering up a butterfly here. All right, let's see how we want this one to probably fly in here somehow. I'm going to darken that up with probably some paint. Um, let's see. Do I want the little house? I'm not sure. I'm not loving the house. Let's do our wings. This butterfly may be too much. And I don't know if I want that flower covered up either. Let's see. If I put it there, I'm going to have to go over that little glow there so it'll look right. Something like that. She's kind of camouflaged in there. Let's go over that little glow. Something like that, maybe. This needs more more brown in it if I do use it. I'm just trying to decide which way the he would go. Because I want I don't want to lose all these flowers, but I'm thinking maybe about right there. It could even go off the page if I wanted to. Something like that. What do you think, guys? Does that look good? And then we're gonna paint. Then we're gonna add paint. We're gonna paint the branches and do other things. I'm not loving the house though. The house is just not I'm not feeling it. I'm not gonna put the house in. Do I like the, the again, this is kind of, I could paint that in, so we'll just not go with that. All right, so let's go ahead and start. And again, I just used the Eileen's Tacky. Well, I'm going to, no, I'm not going to trim her hair. I'm going to paint it out. I'm going to paint the branches out. Yeah, Terry, we're going we're gonna to make it bigger. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and go with gluing. Then I put quite a bit of glue 
and then especially on top of the napkin if you you know you sometimes even the edges don't get glued down well you might have to go back with the edges but I smear the glue out because you don't want lumpy bumpy glue you want to smear it all out but you know the napkins because they're so textury sometimes you do have to go back in there sometimes you have to go back in there and uh, glue some edges sometimes but we're gonna start okay so now I know that her, her wings are coming up over that little circle I cut out so just so I know exactly where I want her wings go, I'm just going to tack them there for just a second. I'm going to tack, they're actually getting glued to this page just to hold them in place where, so I know exactly where I want them. This glue's almost out. I oh, have to open a new one. Okay, so I'm just going to tack that down just so I know where I want the wings. All right, now I'm going to come over here, turn her over and get lots of glue. Yeah, this one's almost empty. Might as well just go ahead and open another one. I'm trying to use it up. And if you get, when you use a new one of these, keep these caps because if you lose a cap, you can't stand it up on end. So you want to keep those caps. All right, let me open another one. I think I've already opened this one. Okay, did I open it? Maybe, maybe not. All right, come on out. What's wrong with this one? Has it got a seal on it or something? Oh, it's got a seal on it. Good grief. And it's got two seals on it. Oh, my gosh. It's got three seals on it. Oh, my gosh. Finally. <laughs> it had three seals on it. Oh, gee. Okay. All right, so now, <laughs> they didn't want me into that one, did they? <laughs> All right, let's smear out this glue here. And then we're going to paint her in, add some paint, and we'll be done. Hopefully within an hour. 10-15 more minutes we should have it done maybe hopefully all right so now let's bring her back over here and again I usually don't like going over the crease but we're we're going for it today okay let's move her over just a tad okay just her little tip of her wing needs to be trimmed a little bit of the little antler there will have to be trimmed. But we're going to go right into the crevice there, which I don't like to do. Okay, let's add where we didn't get her there. Might need a little bit more glue on the wing. A little bit more on the antler. We're getting there. We're getting there. A bit on our fringe. making sure she's glued down that wing right there right in the crevice like I'd hate but in the spine you know I don't like putting things in the spine because it's gonna wear out eventually opening and closing the book that will wear right there I don't actually like this bit of butterfly wing going over that one so we're gonna cut that down. There we go. You still with me guys? I'm hurrying. Can you tell I'm hurrying? <laughs> Alrighty then. 
have oh another little spot right there okay Another little so I didn't I just did not take my time getting that glue on her. Of course, like I said, sometimes a napkin makes it rougher to glue things too. Alrighty. Alright, let me roll the glue off my fingers because that's one nice thing about Eileen's tacky. It will roll off your fingers and then I gotta <laughs> Okay, I think we're good to start painting now. Okay, so first I think I want a nice kind of minty green kind of in the background and then can, to wash over this too to start. And maybe a few more leaves. I don't know. This is all, it's like, you know, this is impromptu. We fly with it. But I think I want some more green. I think I'll go with, I'm going to water down. This is some uh, Hauser Green Medium. It's kind of like an olive green. I, I use a lot of the same colors. God, I can't help it. I love the same colors. Alright, so first, I think, let me get a bigger brush. We will water the paint down here. And let's just get a wash over her. We're going to wash over her uh, the white, right? The white part of the the color book page see this is where we are blending the colors in the colors of the background and the napkin but then I don't want that butterfly wing to show either so we're going to cover some of it up but we're going to also paint over we're going to paint these branches out oh out so I'm just going to keep painting until I make a little I'm going to make a scene And you could use, I like to use my finger sometimes just to kind of like get in here and blend with my finger. So whatever you like to do, you know, blend some, use some paintbrush, use your baby wipe. Okay, but I want to just kind of make a little foresty world here for her. And just kind of water down some of the white and make her look like she's set in the forest. Okay, maybe a little bit more green there. Okay, just keep watering it down so it's a wash. If I want it thicker, I'm just picking it up with my finger. Go off the edge there. See right here where the napkin ended? I want to make sure that that's blended in off the edge. See? Can y'all see the world that we're creating? So I'm just going back and forth between a green, light green wash and picking up, you know, more dark green paint. But I'm leaving some light areas too. I'm leaving, it's just a light wash in there. But I want to get all the way off the edges. So I'm just going to keep blending. Remember, we're going over a napkin. covering up any words or areas that you want to blend out. Maybe set her down just a little so she doesn't look like she's sitting on top of those flowers. She's kind of like in the garden like that. And now I'm just going to water down a little bit and just kind of go here and there hope y'all can see some of the changes going on yeah I'm making a scene she's making a scene <laughs> I'm not making a scene she's making a scene maybe just a little bit more depth right in there
and keep in some light areas. Maybe we could even put a little bit of a yellow glow in there. Let's see. Let's go with a little bit of, just a little bit of ye lemon yellow, maybe. Just a touch of lemon yellow. Water it down. Got a little too much green in there. I'm going to make it a glow. Just so there's a little bit of a a little bit of a glow in there. Can y'all see the glow? Let's start with that. I want a little bit more, a little bit of a little bit of a yellow ochre wash over, kind of blend out the butterfly so it's not so stark. I'm just going to kind of wash it out just a little bit, so it kind of fades back into the distance. And I might add a little bit more shadow or something, just a little bit on there. All right, let me go and dry this. Let's dry it. It takes a little longer to dry the napkin than it does just the paper. But I do need a little bit more of the green on the edge here. See where the napkin is? See? You can see right there where the napkin was. I want to make sure I don't see that. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit with my finger and I'm just going to blend out the edge. Add just a little bit more paint along the edge there so you don't see where the napkin ends. Okay, and you can feather it in, wash it, you know, do a little bit of a, you know, baby wipe or whatever. Just to get rid of the edge. The napkin edge. Like that. Maybe a little bit more shadow along the bottom. Blend her in maybe just a little bit more. Okay, something like that. All right, let's dry that real quick. It's lovely. Hey, Miss Kim. I'll go in with some pencil details. You do a paint or pencil. I might do some with both. Let's just see. Let's use this dark blue that we have here and let's get a small brush. Okay. So I'm just going to go in here with the blue and let's go ahead and do her antlers or her tree branches. Oh, okay, Sandy with the P. All right, so what I'm going to do now, and I've shown you all this before, is you want to kind of roll your brush. You might have to go back over some of them if we want to keep the blue in there. But just kind of go in there and just kind of roll your brush real loose in your hand. Look, it's barely, just barely in my hand. And I'm just going to kind of roll, 
roll out these branches. And you can start down in the hair hair, but just kind of roll them out and continue making more. Let me turn it a little sideways because then you can probably see me working it and also where they're going. Just going right over the top of everything else. Just kind of rolling the brush. So it gets some thin, thick, and just kind of goes where it wants to go. But you're still kind of showing it where to go. but. A little bit more water in the blue. And we'll carry it right over to the other side. Trying to keep it not too, trying to keep it kind of watercolory like. Yeah. Maybe a little bit on the little bits around her face. She's got a little bit of curly stuff going on. I'm not sure what it is. We're going to add a little bit more. A little bit of mess in there. Thanks, Queenie. <laughs> you stepped away for me. You can't step away here. I mean, you can because I'm recording, but, you know. And hopefully we won't have any problem uploading all these videos today. Alrighty, there we go. So now I'm going to just take the blue again, and let's just kind of add a few details. Like maybe right here, she, it looks like she has some kind of a little necklace on. Maybe around the little button. Some little fringe. She has a little ball fringe or something, like a little shawl or something. We can add a little bit more back. We can add the, let's put the uh, antenna back on the, let me turn it, put the antenna back on the butterfly. These have them on as the napkins. And just a little dot on the end there, just so they kind of show up. So I'm just kind of go in here and maybe paint in a few extra details. Very, I want to keep it whimsical, but I don't want to start getting too, um, too much. I want to keep it light and whimsy. Just want to try to add a little bit darker, you know, some contrast in here. I'm blend it out right there now. And a little bit more water. I want to keep it kind of that watercolory washy look, right? But you can go in here and, you know, if you want to add a few more. Let's go ahead and do some splatter. Um, I don't want to do it yet, though. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of splatter down here. Because the flowers are blue, I want to, I'm going to add a little bit more splatter down here. Being careful here, guys. Kind of keeping it light. I'm, I'm barely tapping the brush just to keep a little bit of control. I'm 
not don't want any on her face, so I'm being careful of that. I do want to do a little bit more on this butterfly. Like that. Thanks, guys. Thanks, G. See how the other butterflies are a little bit browner? I need a little bit more brown. So, I'm going to get a little umber out here. Yeah. Let's put a little on that. May not even be dark enough. I'm going to add a little bit darker brown. Where's my dark brown? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? And just with a little bit of water and a little bit of paint. I just want to darken up the butterfly just a little bit. In no particular spot, just darkening them up a little. Again, guys, you take your you take more time. You know, don't rush through like we're doing here. And I'm gonna water down the brown and just add maybe a little bit of wash around the wings, just to kind of tie in. It's just a little wash. Just to kind of make it a little bit more tied in. The other thing you could do is take um, some uh, some sienna and add it to the other butterfly so that that color ties in with it. Or let's just take the pencil. Let's just take the uh, terracotta. And let's just add a little bit of terracotta color into these. Just the tiniest bit. Just so they look like they, they're part of the butterfly family. The same butterfly family. That's all. You know, just that much. That's good. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed that. Any questions or anything? Bueller. Bueller. Maybe it just needs a little bit of blue down in here. I'm not sure. Might just need a little bit of shadow down in there. Let me add a little bit of water. Oh. Kind of tie her in down there a little bit. All right. There we go. So anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed that. It was quick. You don't have to hurry that fast. You can take your time. <laughs> Needs a little bunny right there. A little bunny. Where's my little bunny here? Can use a little bunny. How long would that take me? Let's see. Where's my ink? Think we can have a little bunny real quick. Let me, get a, let me just find a scrap piece of paper on the floor. <laughs> on that.
It's going to dry us. I can't glue anything on there if it's just wet. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks, guys. I'm going to need a whole fresh pot of coffee after. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have bad to eat. <laughs> I haven't eaten. I don't usually eat on Mondays till after we're done. I might get a piece of toast dry. I ate those tea cookies. But I, got, I actually got to go throw some pork chops in the oven. I was going to make the big salad, but Hubster set out pork chops. So I think Hubster's given me a hint that he wants pork chops. Let me close that stamp pad. Um, so I think he's hinting he wants pork chops and rice. So let's color that little bunny. Let's color her a little yellow ochre. Just a little bit of yellow ochre bunny. The tiniest little blue bow. Let's dry that. Even when you work super fast. Oh, thanks. Well, it is a little super fast, that's for sure. But I wanted to get one project in here complete. Because, you know, our color book page that we're doing, the uh, Bennett Klein, that's going to take a few more uh, episodes, right? And I don't want to rush that. Because I'm really, I'm enjoying the, the slow color shading and showing you guys that process, too. And I just, you can't, you just, you know, you only can go so fast when you're doing that blending and shading. I mean, even this could have taken more time. I could have taken more time with this. But I at least want to give you all the ideas, right? So you have the ideas and you can take more time. Like a little bunny in her pocket. That's what we'll do. Okay, let me get the glue off my hands. Do a little pocket. Okay, I'm just going to pick up some of that blue. <laughs> just a little tiny bit of fussy cutting, not too much. All right, I'm going to glue her down a little pocket. We'll dry it and shade it, and we'll be good to go. my light pencil. That's good. <laughs> All right, let me put a little bit of green underneath just to kind of blend that little area in there. There we go. <laughs> Got a little bunny. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right. We will see you at Jean's. Got, I got an hour to get the pork chops ready, clean up my mess, and all that. Oh, grab a banana or something. Because I don't want to eat. I got to eat at 4. I mean, I got to eat at 5.30. So I don't want to eat now. But anyway. So there we go, guys. Hope you all enjoyed it. And thank you, Juliet Crane for putting out your big monster 34 original drawings to color and make your own and we do we make it our own don't we <laughs> all right guys y'all have a good afternoon see you later bye
multiple animals feed it in. I'm still here, I'm digging. Wow, I can't find the two books I'm looking for. Well, you may not put an animal on it. I can't find my two animal books. There's a steampunk. There's a kimono. Alright, here, we'll go with this one. Some butterflies. Yowza! I can't find the bird book or the nature book. Okay, we'll go with this one. We did some other things with this one. Where I, I told you the reason I bought this book was for the illustrations that were already colored. But I'll, I'm going to pick out a couple uh, butterflies or moths. And we will um, incorporate those in our page. So let's see, maybe a big one here. This one. Now, uh, when this is not a double-sided book, so when I cut this out, it does tear this out. But I bought this to tear up and use, so we'll go with these two. I don't know what kind of moths they are. I'll color them whatever color they match. Okay, so we're going to go with this. <laughs> and we're going to go with, I'm just going to pick a girl out of here that I, I want to go with the butterflies. Maybe we'll use the wings on one of the girls and then a butterfly on the opposite page. So I don't know yet. We'll see. I like her. I like her. I like all of them. I love this. It's Julia Crane, Big Monster. I love using these and cutting them up and coloring them. And they all have tree branches in their heads. She looks kind of sad, this one. Do we need to cheer her up with some... See if I can find the bird one or... Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to go with I'm trying to find where I put it. I thought it was off the shelf, but it may be on the shelf. Hang on, let me dig a minute. Oh. It's a certain, oh, it's a certain, um, the nature book. We're always cutting it up. Now I can't find it. Uh, hang on. It has good birds in it. Hmm. I don't know what I did with it. Maybe it is over here in the stack where I'm using the fairies. Hmm. Let me look. No, I don't know what I did with it. Well, I wanted to put a bird on it. Might just have to find a bird. Although I'm trying to use just color book pages. Where did I put the bird book? Let me look again. Hang on, guys. There's some animals. Let's see. Alright, just a minute. We'll find something. We'll find something. <clears throat> One moment. Glitter on the sunflowers. And around his little flower, it's like a little lantern. What do I have on July? Oh, I, as far as the dates in this, I'm this, I cover up the dates. This is not a date book. <laughs> That's why I never used it. My sister gave it to me in 2009. I never used it because it's got dates. So the dates all get covered up. I'm not even doing anything with the dates. 
<clears throat> it's like a weekly. It's like a weekly thing. You know, they got a week on a page. And then we did this page, which has a, uh, like a fairy and a bird. And so we colored the bird, and this one has stickles on it too, as does she. And then this was a um, color book page that we just did a wash on. Okay, and the rest here is napkin, and then that's out of the color book. So the flowers are out of one color book. They're out of another color book, and then the background is napkins and paint. And I think that's all we have done in here. So, yeah. So what I want to do, and I don't know what page it'll be yet, or what girl, but I'm going to pick a girl, and then I'll color coordinate her. I'll color coordinate her with a, a page in here. And maybe, let's get the nature book. It's maybe a bird or something. I don't know what else to put on it yet. I have a, this is not planned, guys. This is not planned. Let's see. Let me find that nature book. Yeah, this is another, this is one of the ones that I cut out of. Glorious Gardens, and there's another one, Birds. This one's got more I don't, You know, I don't really want flowers because I've got enough flowers with the napkin. Hang on. Let me look, guys. Okay, welcome back, everybody, to Coffee and... Whoa, I need a refill. Now in the afternoon. And so we've done a couple other segments this morning, some art journal flips and some color book pages. And now real quick, well, real quick, and then another, you know, hour or so, I want to uh, do something in our day book, faux ledger that my sister gave me in 2009 that I never used, but now it is a napkin journal. And I do need to go over there. I, I probably won't do any napkin gluing today because I have a bunch of pages already uh, has napkins glued in it. And so I won't go through that process, but if you want to look in my playlist on the YouTube recordings, there you'll see lots of napkin journal, uh, napkin journal in the mixed media category. And so we'll just kind of do a flip through so far what I've got done in here. And uh, so you can see where we've got napkins glued down. And then here's one of the pages where we have used the Big Monster Girls from Juliet Crane. And I love this book for the cutting out purposes. They just work well in an art journal, or in, in this case, the napkin journal. So I've been using, cutting these girls out. I've kind of done quick color based on wherever I pick to put them. Like she's purple, we did, you know, whatever I kind of coordinate with the napkins. Same thing for the bird. We did kind of a, their clothing is kind of the same. And uh, he's out of a, um, He's out of the uh, Nature Journal, I think it was, or Nature Color Book, rather. So I'll use different things out of different um, color books to put in the napkin journal. But the basis of all these pages is a napkin. I was talking about Pixie and its figure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you just put in, we're talking, somebody's asking in chat before I hit record, we're talking about drawing. Uh, people references where you can get them online you can just all you have to do is put in art poses to draw and it, like that and now be prepared you'll probably get some naked people if you don't want to draw naked people put in there I don't want to draw naked people or something like that anyway <laughs> we're talking about drawing and um, drawing sketches and portraits before I hit record okay so every page in here though I want to have a napkin as a background so, like this has got a bunch of fish, probably put a mermaid on. I've been using different books like um, Fantasy Fairies and different color books. And I'm kind of trying to keep this a, a fairy, Fantasy Fairy, Mermaid, you know, these kind of, you know, just kind of that kind of girls in this, in this book with a napkin background theme. All right. So you can see they've all got napkins in some form or another on all the pages. I'm just going to do a quick flip and then this even came with a bookmark in it and uh, so yeah not every page. I've, I've pretty much gone there's a few pages left that have no napkin on them 
but pretty much all but a few pages have a napkin glued on them in some form. So we just we put some color book pages on them and then we paint in a scenery. There's a couple pages here in the middle that don't have anything. Bye Bonnie! You're welcome, love you. So you can see we have different napkins, florals, fauna, birds, on all the different, there's a couple here with no nothing on them. And then we did this one a couple, maybe two weeks ago, the little uh, elf. We, we colored the little elf. This is a napkin here. The sunflowers are a napkin. And then we, we paint, uh, we colored in, glued them in, and then painted. All this is painted in. So the, that's all painted in. Then we stickled. We put stickles 